me and Cole found us a camping spot. We got the truck parked out here. We got a couple of grills over there. There's a fire pit there. Plenty of places to sit. Over there. Nice little area for another campsite. This is a little log here. We saw here. I tried to get cold to walk across it. He didn't want nothing to do with that. He jumped right off. Over here. There's a water spigot over there. You get water. But there's no electric. We're the only ones out here. I guess seeing this house the weekday. Cold just can't contain itself. Slow down, buddy. You're like, where am I at? What is this place? This right here is a Porta John. So they got hand sanitizer here. And it's just a it's just a Porta John with a partition around it. Nothing special. It's big. Come on, buddy. That's not for you. But it's a nice area. I hear the bugs and stuff around. Cole just can't can't be still. He ain't never seen this much open space before. He just all over the place. I'm allowing him to drag me because I'm just as curious about this as he is. So he takes a look around. He sees the direction and he wants to take off running. He likes his freedom. He's been cooped up in that cage at the animal shelter for so long to have everything to run around here. He, uh, he don't know how to handle it. So, I gotta keep a hand, keep a hand, a hand of him. He chewed through his other leash. I had to, uh, change it from my belt. This is my 550 paracord belt here. I just hooked it onto his collar. And uh, he can't chew through that. He's doing a good job of chewing through his leash part though. He might have to buy him another one of those. But uh, this is really nice here. You got palm trees all over the place. Woods all back in there. I don't dare take him off this leash. Because he'll take off back up in there. And there'll be no finding him. I'll be out here a week trying to find him. In all this. There's a service road back up in there. Come on, we're not going that way. Yeah. We finally rode out of that rain. Rain was coming down. Pretty hard today. We, we ran, got past it. I was really sleepy driving. So I said, well, we're gonna find us a spot to stop at. Now I'm wide awake now. I'm so excited finding this campsite here. <sighs> but uh, anyway. There's a fire pit. Pretty nice. He's checking it out. Got bitches just sitting all around here. Here's a grill. Just so happens I got some firewood. Come on, Cole. Relax, buddy. All right. I gotta hook him up a, a leash line so he'll be able to run around controlled so he can't just go everywhere and take off. And I make sure it's secure so he don't get loose. Because they ain't no finding them out here. But that's that's our update. We're on our way back to Michigan. We're closer to uh, Jacksonville than we are to um, Orlando now. We're way past Orlando. And uh, we're continuing our little journey. We're probably gonna stay here the night and then take off in the morning. And uh, Get a fresh start 
put some miles behind us tomorrow morning. And uh, we're going to enjoy this campsite tonight and chill out and eat and relax. And uh, let him explore his little area around here. He's been real good. But uh, yeah, this is really nice. He just can't stop running around. Everything excites him, all the noises and different smells and sounds. Something just fell out. Let me see what the sign says. Come on back here. Let's see. So we're still in Florida. I don't see where it says you are here. But. Oh, ticks are very abundant on the trail. Proceed with caution. You hear that, Cole? Lots of ticks. Spanish moss. Very informative. Okay. Well, that's it for this one. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching.